so what does it feel like to you when you are tuned in to that source energy it feels like interest or it feels like enthusiasm it feels like love it feels like appreciation it feels like lack of resistance it doesn't feel like jealousy and it doesn't feel like guilt and it doesn't feel like blame and it doesn't feel like wanting to make trouble for someone it doesn't feel like hatred it feels like love it doesn't feel like confusion it feels like clarity it doesn't feel like fear it feels like autonomy and strength and invincibility when you are in sync with your source energy with your inner being you feel wonderful in that moment the more in sync you are with the whole of you the better you feel the more out of sync you are the worse you feel but here's something that we really want you to know we're not saying to you that you should never ever ever have an out of sync thought with your inner being in fact we are saying something very different to you we're saying you are on the leading edge and you came here to have out of sync thoughts from your inner being because you're here discovering new things that you want and in the discovery of those new things you don't have your balance we do so when you focus upon something that causes you to be agitated or fearful that very fear or agitation that very experience of negative emotion is your indicator that you're out on the leading edge bleeding edge leading edge bleeding edge and that you're focused in a way that the source within you is not which means you have a sort of guiding light vibration you can find your way back it's not that your inner being is not focused upon what you're focused upon it's that your inner being is seeing it through the eyes of source your inner being is seeing the value in it and so as we play together today the thing that we want most for you is that you will come to know that even in your moments of seeming separation there's never separation or disconnect from your inner being you just can't get loose of us but in the seeming disconnect that is represented to you by some form of negative emotion it's only your impression about the situation that is causing you the discomfort it is never ever ever that someone in non-physical is disappointed in you or blaming you or seeing fault or lack in you in other words we want you by the end of this conversation today to be as proud of yourself when you are in a negative rampage as you are when you are flowing in a positive rampage because it's all you and it's all us and it's all good and it's all fine and it's all part of creation and it's all part of expansion and it's what we all signed on for and you play your part out there on the bleeding edge and we play our part knowing who we all really are and knowing when you know what you don't want that you know what you do want and when you know what you do want because you've known what you don't want you launch a rocket of desire a rocket of energy a vibrational rocket that is received by a non-physical already in motion we call it the vortex but it is a vibrational reality where we always stand that has momentum where the law of attraction is gathering the cooperative components and the only reason you ever feel bad about anything is because for some reason and we know often it seems like a good reason to you you are not being a cooperative component to your own desire and you know that's okay because when you're launching new desires you sort of got to warm up you sort of got to warm up to what it really means you've got to find a vibrational way into it because sometimes you've picked up along your physical trail beliefs from your mother who got it from her mother who got it from her father who got it from his father or 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 in other words here you stand as an extension of source energy yes indeed but you're also an extension of those physical beings who've lived here before you who have thought thoughts and had experiences and have launched thoughts and have told you things and have said to you you're not deserving or life isn't good or life isn't easy and when someone really believes that then you know their life isn't easy and then you witness them living a hard life and saying life isn't easy and you believe it 
because you have the evidence right before you and it is easier for you sometimes to believe those who are manifested right before your eyes you can see them and hear them and smell them and taste them and touch them and when they demonstrate whatever it is they demonstrate it is easy to believe because your eyes and so forth show it to you and then here's your inner being over here in this vibrational reality where you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch you can get to sense you can get to know and when you pay attention to your emotions you can find your path of least resistance back to that knowing but don't be hard on yourself because you believe things that you see we just want you to become those powerful creators who can believe what you can't yet see and in the belief of what you can't yet see it will come into your visual reality that's deliberate creation most people create by default a sort of regurgitation they see it they don't like it they talk about it they catalog it and pigeonhole it they make monuments about it everybody talks about it incessantly and then all their gaps are filled in with things like it until as a society as a vibrational group of forward focused beings in this glorious creative experience you sometimes create things that you do not want we call that creation by default we call it creating because it's easier to look at it than to find the feeling of what you really want and we don't disagree with that if you were a farmer in the field however we don't think that you take your kernel of corn and put it in the ground that you have prepared and then that afternoon go out and demand that it show itself to you as a stalk with ears we think that you would be patient with the process of that gestation we think you would understand in that case that it's a common you just can't see it yet we think you would be patient and kind to it we think you would be considerate of it we think you would nurture it in every way you could and most of all we think that you would be expectant of positive results about it but someone who did not know might dig it up and say you've failed me so I'll just eat you we want you to realize that there is a gestation period for when you know what you don't want you know what you do want you put all of these pieces of desire we call them ingredients of creation into a vibrational reality where they are becoming where they are being tended to and adored by source energy where the resources of the universe are responding to them where the law of attraction is gathering the cooperative components and where they will show themselves to you upon your readiness to receive them parts of them are being revealed to you at all times but if you are in a mood or attitude where you're not willing to believe it until you see it then you hold yourself incessantly apart from the fun along the way of getting to experience the deliciousness of the evolution of your vibrations turning to thoughts and those thoughts turning to things where you can see them and we know for sure that your life is not fun for you unless you know that you have put it there with all of the other ingredients unless you have been willing to allow the law of attraction to gather those ingredients together unless you have been willing to practice a state of being where you are consistently in a state of non-resistance where you are in a state of being able to receive where you are then receiving impulses and thoughts that you are willing to follow because you trust and expect and then you get to witness the improvement the escalation the momentum and the delicious unfolding of your creations as they show themselves to you bit by bit there is a compilation of all of the ingredients that you've put there some of them you put there before you got into this physical body oh good stuff 
things like adoring yourself and others, things like knowing your value, things like knowing the blessedness of who you are, things like knowing the eternal nature of your being, things like eagerness about being alive in this physical body, things about the love that you feel for all of humanity and all of not humanity, those like us, we're not human, but we are in on it with you in every heartbeat along the way. And so, as you come to realize that there is an attitude, an attitude of appreciation about what you have created and you begin to accept the reality. We've written two books. We so much want you to accept this reality. We call it the vortex, this vibrational compilation of hopes and dreams and desires that you have gathered that are there, ready to show themselves to you in different compilations just like the ingredients in your well-stocked kitchen will show you and do you know that as these ingredients swirl and evolve and interrelate and become that you can catch glimpses of them in fact you do and when you find yourself in a good feeling daydream where you are just for a moment catching a glimpse of something that feels so good to you while you catch the glimpse three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds. That daydream is evidence that you have been in a vibrational state where you have allowed a compilation of some of those ingredients to be realized by you. Most people don't spend any time trying to daydream. Most people don't spend any time segment intending or pre-paving or making lists of positive aspects or getting on rampages of appreciation because most people don't know the power of the ingredients that are swirling and ready for them. Most people aren't ready to consciously and actively realize that they are the creator of their own experience and that the mechanism for creation is underway and being tended by source energy. So most people don't follow the path of least resistance, which is the path that feels so good. Most people follow the path of most resistance or greater resistance where they've decided that they're going to struggle and prove themselves, where they decided that they're going to compare and compete, where they decided that they're going to defend. And we get that. We get that you want to be right. We just want so much for you to know that you are right. If we could convince you of the rightness of your beingness, then maybe you would let the defensiveness of your beingness fall by the wayside. And that would go a long way to letting you be in a place where you could realize more of those things that you're wanting. So we'll chew together today and we'll drop some resistance by the wayside and we will amplify what's in your vibrational reality. And already your vibration has been rising so that you are much more in vibrational harmony with who you really are. And together today, we will touch upon the wholeness of who you are with enough emphasis and steadiness that you will not soon stray from your new vibrational set point without knowing it. Oh, you will stray because your life will keep having ground glass in it in other words life is coming to you you say my life is coming at me it feels like assertion well, your life is coming to you based upon the vibrations that you've got going and it's so easy to understand why those vibrations would be present within you of course they would of course they would but you get to choose which among those things that come to you you want to keep coming and which of those things that you would rather just drift by the wayside. You get to choose whether you are under the influence of this source energy that is truly the basis of who you are, where you can feel the power of your aligned thought, the power of your daydream, the power of your non-resisted thought in comparison with your struggle and sacrifice and competition that most humans are experiencing. We enjoyed this interaction and it was one. You weren't saying anything with your words, but oh, did we feel you. We received your vibrational responses to what we offered. We received your vibrational responses to the vibrations that we outputted that Esther didn't yet translate because you're receiving us on many levels of your being. Each of you is a receiver.
equivalent to what Esther is doing here and now. You just don't quite know it yet.